Hey there everybody, welcome back. It's just another Average Stacker. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there that is a father or a single mother. Uh, we tend to forget about those that uh, are pulling du dual duty. Um, and I just wanna say Happy Father's Day to everybody. Today has been an absolutely wonderful day for me. Uh, started off this morning, drove my wife into work, which doesn't normally happen, um, but I needed to uh, work on her car this afternoon. Um, and then, Went and met my daughter, got to play nine holes of golf with her at a par three course. She did, asked me to go play golf with her this morning, so that was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, then from there, I drove down to work and picked up this box that came in the mail yesterday when this one showed up on Friday. Um, and so I've kind of done a little bit of a documentary of my whole day, which I may put out as a, as a completely separate video. Um, but uh, I've got a lot going on here, and if you can see, I've got my new backdrop, which is going to become my sticker board, and the first person that gets up on the board happens to be Mr. Silver Dragons. Uh, he was kind enough to send me this when he knew that I was getting my new channel stickers, um, but I couldn't send it out yet until Yankee had done his video and received his stickers. If you haven't seen Yankee's uh, video, I'm going to try and put a link uh, right up there for that video. Uh, check it out because it's kind of a cool uh, fan mail, if you will. So let's go ahead and get Silver Dragons. I think this is a sticker. Pretty sure it's a sticker. So... Hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. We've got what I anticipated being a rather rainy day today, um, and it turned out to be absolutely beautiful. Um, it's about 78 degrees out and sunny. Um, all right. I've got no fingernails, so, um, and I'm gonna feel really, really stupid if this isn't a sticker. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure what it is. I just can't get the edge of it. There it is. So, Mr. Silver Dragons gets first dibs on my new sticker board. What do you guys think, by the way? And uh, we're going to throw this right here. And we also have his dragon round sticker that we're going to get on there as well. And I've got so much that I want to get done tonight, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for everything. Um, we're going to start by getting through this and this unboxing, and then we're going to talk about what's here. Um, just outside of this, you can kind of see in the screen. We're going to slide those up there. Um, and Dragons, you need to get stickers that come off a little bit easier. This is nuts. I heard it. I heard it. There it is. All right. So, sticker number one on the board. Uh, so, now we're going to get into uh, these couple of unboxings here. Uh, the first one here, I have not taken any labels off, but this is from the Fulfillment Services out of Addison, Texas, which happens to be Provident Metals. And uh, let's take a look, see what we got there. And I don't cut towards you. I like to live dangerously. So, for those of you that kind of follow me along, uh, you know, oh, that's right, they've done their boxes a little bit differently lately. And... We have a, another magnet, Year of the Boar, from Provident Metals. So we'll find some place to maybe put those up somewhere around here as well. Um, and let me just kind of look at this real quick. Okay, yep, that's just shipping information. Um, you guys see this bad boy over here. I didn't add anything to this box um, in the way of my... Uh, Silver Eagles, so it's 
spot brace kind of dropped and then started going back up, I jumped on it. So I had to get some more eagles. Um, and it was a random year. I've, I've kind of gotten accustomed to trying to get some random years. This has 1990 written on the label. Um, so we're going to take a look. I see some kind of darkness in here. Uh, these are secondary market. These were not marketed as BU. Um, but uh, from what I'm seeing through the tube, I'm not extremely thrilled with what I'm seeing, but let's take a look. And uh, if it is a full tube of 1990s, then we can leave it at that. Ah, okay, I feel a lot better. We've got a little bit of toning on the edges, but it seems like these are not necessarily as bad as what I was seeing through the tube. Um, so we have... A 1990, another 1990, another 1990. These are actually in pretty good shape for uh, being uh, 28 years old. Let's take a quick look at that. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. This opposite thing on here really messes with my head. Uh, I think these are all 1990s, and they look to be in really good shape uh, for a secondary market. And I have no idea what a 1990 ASE goes for, so we're going to actually check that out, because this is by far and away the oldest tube that I have. Yep, so far everything's 1990, and that will be perfect perfectly thrilled with that. I mean, these really do look in BU shape. The edges look like they've got a little bit of brown to them, almost like a copper. Um, copper toning to it. Yeah, these are all in great shape. Sorry about that, Provident. I was I was a little concerned looking through the edge of the tube. But yeah, it does appear to be a full tube of 1990 American Silver Eagles. I think these were $17.29 each. Somewhere right around in there. About $2.50 over spot. Um, so, got a full tube of... 1990 American Silver Eagles. And then we're going to get into this other box. This other box um, is kind of a mistake. Because this was really my uh, monthly purchase. My allotment that I generally set for myself. And uh, let's go ahead and get these put into the monster box and that is going to give us 160 American Silver Eagles now and we'll get that cover back up <laughs> and so anyhow this box here um, this past week eBay was running a 13% eBay bucks. And with the state that I am in, some dealers charge sales tax and some don't. Um, I had did not know if eBay was going to hit with a sales tax or not. So the deal was, it was 8% eBay bucks on a PC, 13% on a mobile device. So I opened up the mobile app and pulled up something that somebody else had done a video on um, that qualified for eBay bucks and got it added to my cart and was getting ready to check to see if um, sales tax was going to apply because 6% sales tax really kills the deal because generally the prices on eBay are a little bit higher. Um, but 13% 
was worthwhile as long as I could not have to pay that sales tax. So something came up and I walked away from my phone and came back, picked up my phone, and my palm of my hand hit the purchase button. And I was just like, oh, okay. So anyhow, we got this purchase as well, which wasn't really supposed to happen. I was still going to, I needed to take a look at some finances. Um, I'll, I'll be just fine, but this guy put a little bit of a uh, stretch on me for, for the next month. So there probably will not be any unboxings next month because of this one. So let's take a look to see what we have inside of here. Uh, this is from Liberty Coins. And I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Um, let's see here. Good grief, Liberty Coins. Now, I can't complain with a good packing job and good tape job. I'd rather have to struggle to get into it than be concerned about losing something out of it. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Um, this actually is my first purchase from Liberty Coin. And uh, got this little package here inside. So let's take a look and see what we got. Um, I've actually never had to open one of these things. I've seen you guys do it. And I know they stick together pretty good. Somewhere in this is something for me. And if you haven't been able to figure out yet, it happens to be some gold. Get this opened up. And I forgot to order, well, obviously, given the fact that it was a mistake of completing the order, um, I did not order a capsule for this, so I'm gonna have to get that um, here in the near future. Um, when it comes to my gold, even though this really is just a, a bullion piece, I, I still like to put my gloves on for my gold. Um, the American Silver Eagles, generic silver, etc., really don't care one way or the other, um, but uh, what we have is a BU, Great Britain so Sovereign, and this one happens to be, let's see if we can find the year, I don't know these things, so I don't know where to look for things on here, I'm trying to find, this is a 2012 And let's take a close-up of that and see if I could do this without dropping it. I knew I would drop it. I knew it. All right, I got to stand up. Oh, sorry, guys. This new setup for me. Okay. So we got the queen there. Really in good shape for a 2012. And uh, let's see if we can get. There we go. So you can see 2012 there over on the left. And let's flip it over and see if I can get a good shot of the, of the face here. So anyhow, we're going to add almost a quarter ounce of gold to our stack. And uh, 20 American Silver Eagles. And that puts us to one and a quarter ounces of gold for the year. Uh, I originally had a one ounce gold. Um, so we've surpassed that. So let's go ahead and get that put away. And we'll have to get a... Uh, a capsule for that here when I do place my next order 
um, which will probably be two months. So then last, what we have, um, for those of you that happen to see the rounds that I poured for Yankee, um, I have been playing around with my CNC machine at work and come to find out I don't have a three-dimensional capability with my encoding software. My machine will do it, um, but the software that I use to create the G-code uh, from my CAD drawings. Um, so, my KitKat bar at this point is currently out because a decent software um, is about 1500 bucks, and I'm not going there yet. So, um, if I needed it for work, then that would be one thing, but there really is no purpose other than for me um, on a personal level. So, <clears throat> so what I have are is this white oak block that has a half round routed into it, and we're going to create some bars. Um, I saw people using wood molds in the past. I really liked the finish on the outside that it created um, with the charcoaling effect, etc. So I should be about a two and a half ounce pour on these. Um, we're going to try one and just kind of get an idea um, if it's something that I want to continue with or maybe go to something completely different. I've thought about doing a rectangle shape with a raised round, half round coming out of the top of it. Um, I can do that. Um, so I'm kind of playing around with some different ideas of creating a channel bar for me um, because I'm, I'm going to get into the pouring. So, so anyhow, um, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I might get to pouring, melting these down tonight and getting this poured. Um, that'll be a completely separate video. Uh, but as of right now, it's probably getting close to 6 p.m. I need to get some hamburgers going on the grill and get my son fed and get up the road to pick up my wife in a little while from work. So I don't know if we'll get to this. This might have to wait till tomorrow. So anyhow, this is Jazz. Hope you all have a wonderful Father's Day. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for stopping in. And please hit that thumbs up for me. Um, I'm really going to be focusing on trying to get some more videos, some better content on a more regular basis out there. So I really want to try and get this stuff growing. So hitting that thumbs up for me will really help. And if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. Help me grow in that way as well. You all have a wonderful evening. We'll talk to you soon. Good night.